Okay, I'm going to describe something called tabular integration. It's particularly useful for integrals of the form a polynomial times either an exponential type function, a sine function, or a cosine function. <clears throat> and it's really just a shortcut for doing integration by parts. So, let's see an example. So let's say we want to integrate x cubed e to the 2x. So that would be a polynomial and then an exponential type function. So the idea is you want to do the integration by parts a few times, but setting up a table will allow you to do that all at once. So the table will go like this. We'll split it up into the polynomial part and the exponential part. So we'll make our table with the polynomial part and the exponential part, and then we'll take derivatives down this side of the table, and we'll take antiderivatives down this side of the table. So here we get, this will be obviously 3x squared, 6x, 6, and 0. Now obviously once we hit 0, it's always going to be 0 after that. Now we'll take antiderivatives down here, so we'll get 1 half e to the 2x, and then we'll get 1 quarter e to the 2x, 1 eighth e to the 2x, and 1 sixteenth e to the 2x. Okay, so now our table is totally set up and we're ready to go. So now we want to match on the diagonal as follows, and then alternate the signs. So we'll give this a plus, this a minus, this a plus, this a minus. And now we can read this table and give ourselves the solution very, very quickly. So that means the antiderivative of this function will be x cubed times 1 half e to the 2x. So I'll write that as 1 half x cubed e to the 2x and then so on and so forth. So we have minus 3x squared times 1 quarter e to the 2x. So I'll write that as minus 3 quarters x squared e to the 2x. And then so on and so forth. So I'll go quickly now. So plus 6 over 8. So that's the same thing as 3 over 4 again. So 3 over 4x e to the 2x. And then finally minus 6 over 16. So that's 3 over 8 e to the 2x, and then we have our constant of integration, and that's our final answer.